Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. Um, Alright guys, I uh, just want to give you guys uh, a quick fix on an issue that I had the other day. So basically, I had this issue uh, with my car. And um, this came out of nowhere actually. The, the car was like driving fine uh, for most of the day. And... Uh, went to a McDonald's to get something to eat, came out about 30 minutes later, got into my car and tried to start it and and uh, it was not starting at all. There was no crank, there was no, it was, but, but everything else worked inside the car. I mean, I was able to, um, you know, uh, the alarm worked, the alarm worked, well, the remote worked, uh, the, the, uh, all the lights on the dash worked, uh, the, Blow motor works like everything worked as normal except that it would not crank it would not start up it would not crank so that was a bit of a uh uh you know a, 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 an annoyance a frustration that i was dealing with and i was like okay this uh you know th this car has been pretty good i've had virtually no issues with it it's driven fine there's no check engine light haven't had any issues with it uh, since I had it, and all of a sudden this came up where you know uh, out of nowhere, out of the blue, it just would not start up. So um, um, I was a bit annoyed by it, but I had to solve the issue. So what I did was I turned on my headlights and went out just to see how bright the headlights were because I want to gauge how uh, how much charge was uh, in the battery. Uh, maybe the battery had, uh, you know, maybe I need to change the battery or something. But the headlights were like super, super, super bright. Uh, so at, at that point, I was like, maybe it's not the battery because, I mean, for headlights to be that bright, there should be enough charge in the battery for me to do a slow crank. I should, I should be hearing like some kind of crank, some kind of slow cranked, uh, slow crank. But um, did not get any of that. So that had me scratching my head. Um, I went back uh, into my car and uh, pretty much what I did was um, uh, I, I was thinking that it could possibly be uh, the brake switch so what I did was um, I, I I have this um, I have this little it, it's called like it, it's called a, a brake lock where you know it it locks the brake but it's like for like for security reason but i used that to push the brakes and then went out to see where whether the the brake lights were working and the brake lights were working uh just fine so i knew that it wasn't the brake switch that was um the issue which i kind of thought it was but it wasn't so after that what i did was you know, I I, I, I I checked the battery you know, just to make sure, you know, whether, you know, the terminals were good, clean, et cetera, et cetera. Now, what I did notice that was that the terminals were a little bit uh, corroded. There was some white, bluish stuff on there. So I had my Coke that I got from McDonald's, poured the Coke on the terminals and uh, had some napkins to clean it up. Now, the terminal terminals were not were not super super um tight it would they were tight enough that you know i don't think that was the issue with it so it was tight enough i took the took the terminals off uh pour some coke on it clean it with napkins popped it back in and for sure i thought that that would actually fix the issue uh try to start it um it would not crank same situation would not crank would not start so outside, outside of that, I was like, okay, um, let's check the ground wire. The main ground wire, if you guys don't know, is the negative cable. Normally, it hooks up to the frame of the car. So I was looking at the uh, ground wire just to see whether there was any kind of... Um, uh, just to see whether it, um, uh, it was corroded, disconnected, rusted, or anything like that. I, you know, I, I, it, it, there was a little bit of rust, but nothing that I, I thought would affect... Uh, the uh, the electricity going to the, uh, the the battery to the car, so I you know so I I, I was able to rule out that. So um, at that point I was like, let me rule out the 
the um, the battery completely because I'm not I wasn't a hundred percent sure whether it was the batteries that was the problem. So I uh, had somebody <clears throat> help me out with a jump. Um, had the cables on there uh, for a good couple minutes, maybe like a minute, and then try to crank it. Normally, um, you know, it, it should crank at least a little. Um, you know, with it hooked up, and uh, it did not crank at all. So, because it didn't crank at all, I knew 100% that it was in the battery. Uh, at that point, I ruled out the battery, the ground wire, and I also ruled out the alternator uh, being the issue. <clears throat> because normally, if the alternator wasn't charging the battery and the and battery is completely dead, um, <clears throat> um, the test for the alternator is if you put wires to um, to the to the terminals, <clears throat> um, it should jump the alternator and then have the and and then it, it should at least crank up. And once you take the cables off, um, you know the car would die. So at that point, I could rule out the alternator. I could rule out all those things um, at that point. So um, basically, what I did was I got back to my car and I'm like, <clears throat> I'm, I was still hoping that there was um, a, a really simple fix um, to the problem. So, um, basically, at that point, I was thinking to myself, okay, I have an OBD2 reader, a $19 OBD2 reader that I got from Walmart. And uh, seeing as how there's no check engine lights on the dash, I, I thought to myself, I mean, there's a, there's a chance that it could possibly be something, but, uh, you know, that, that might bring a code up that's pending that's not in the system so what i did was i hooked the obd2 up and uh, made sure that it actually went through and scanned the whole entire ecu which it did it scanned the whole entire ecu no codes popped up no pending codes nothing at all and uh at that point um i could i i was ruling <clears throat> you know as many things out as i could and at that point i ruled that out Okay, so um, <clears throat> after that, I was thinking to myself, um, there's a couple other things it could be. It could be, um, it could be possibly be the um, fuses or the relays. <clears throat> all right, so I got to the box where the fuses and relays are and uh, checked out all the fuses just to make sure that there was no, were no blown fuses or anything like that. <clears throat> And uh, checked out to see whether there was any kind of brownish tint on any of the top of the fuses. There was none. Uh, didn't see anything that was burnt. Um, and then I recalled that uh, uh, there were two situations where um, I, you know, I've experienced where the fuses caused uh, caused my car not to start. And this was cars that I've had previously. Uh, one of those situations was, um, you know, the the car that I had. Uh, there was no power at all to the car nothing was on etc etc and in that situation it turned out to be the main fuse um that was blown it was the main fuse that was blown um but uh, you know um once i swapped that out it actually fixed everything but uh that's not this situation here because i was getting power to everything else except it wouldn't crank except it wouldn't crank it wouldn't start it wouldn't crank so um, that was in the situation. The other situation where I had where the fuse had where there was a fuse issue that caused no start was um, the car would crank but it wouldn't turn over. It would crank but it wouldn't turn over, and, and that and uh, that fuse turned out to be either the uh, CPU, the fuse to the CPU, or the fuse to the fuel pump. Now that unfortunately wasn't uh, the quick fix for this car because. Um, there's no cranking. This car is not cranking. It's not cranking um, at all. So that wasn't the problem. Um, at that point, I was thinking to myself, all right, we've eliminated a lot of things. Um, let's go with the next most obvious thing, which is the, the relays. And uh, I actually thought it may have been a relay that would be causing the issue. So basically what I did was um, I swapped out 
one of the relays for the other relay and try to stop the car. And and uh, unfortunately, it wasn't EVZ fix because it didn't start up. It was the same situation. It would it would would not crank, would not start. And at that point, I knew that it wasn't um, the 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 relay that was the cause of this issue. So basically, um, at that point, I thought to myself, okay, it's it was probably. What, a couple of things could be the key fob or the starter. Now, I didn't think it was the starter because I didn't think it was the starter because um had the starter changed up about a year and a half ago. Um, kind of pretty much had the same, um, you know, all, all, all the same symptoms that I had with this situation, but um, but. Seeing as how the starter was a, a year and a half ago that, that was changed out and uh, probably put in maybe like fifteen thousand miles <clears throat> um, on, on the car, uh, it wasn't the first thing that popped up, and uh, it wasn't the second thing that popped up. It was, you know, so I pretty much eliminated to the starter. Um, had the car towed back uh, to my house, and uh, once I got there, I redid all the. I, I pretty much redid all the um, went through everything the fuses, um, the relays again, um, double check the battery, charge it up at night, etc. etc. None of that was the issue. So at that point, I thought it was, you know, it was probably the starter. So I got to the starter and uh, did a direct, uh, did a direct. Uh, jolt to it where I've actually put the positive of the battery got another wire put a positive of the battery to the and and try to try to jump the starter and uh, the starter was completely dead would not jump at that point I knew like 99% was the starter took it out went to AutoZone had them tested it and uh, it was definitely the starter that was the problem um, and uh, because the starter was warranty for a, had a lifetime warranty on it um, got another free starter, popped it in, and it worked. Uh, and it's been working ever since. So if you guys are stuck in this situation where you guys are looking for um, um, a fix for it, um, there's a good chance that probably one of the things that I went through in this video uh, could possibly fix your situation. Hopefully, it's not the starter where you're stranded until you get the starter uh, changed up. Anyway, um, if you guys, if this has helped you guys in now anyway, um, please <coughs> uh, leave a uh, give me a positive feedback. Please subscribe. Please comment if you guys have any comment uh, uh, on this video. All right, guys, take care.